Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name's Nicole. If you're old, welcome back. And I have figured out why, if you watch my Boxy Charm, why my head kept cutting off. It's because I had my phone turned the other side so my camera was up at the top instead of at the bottom, which like shows me more. So I was kind of more used to that. But I figured it out and it's right now. So anyway, today I got in my Ipsy. Yay. But um, yeah, I got in one Ipsy offer, so I'll show you. So I'll show you that. And this is what the bag looks like. It is made out of, you know, the plasticky makeup bag material, which is nice. It's the this is the back. It's a very pretty lilac color. And then on the front are these really cute little butterflies. I like it. You know, cheap little tassel and then like soft pleather. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dive on in. First thing is the uh, Ipsy card, which just tells you the theme. You go on their app, they show you more. They show you tips and tricks with a lot of the products that are actually featured. All right, first thing I'm going to pull out is from Feel. Um, I have I love their charcoal mask. It's actually a black mask. It's very nice, like a sheet mask. It's so nice. I love that. Uh, their walnut apricot scrub was okay. I don't think my skin loved it. It. It was, you know, okay, sorry, that was serious. So this is the self-warming clay mask, which I have hopes for. I really do. And I do like how it comes in this tube. This is pore opening and deeply cleansing. It's just like a little pack. I probably get like two uses out of that, maybe three. Um, but I love masks, especially sheet masks, but I will do a clay when my pores need it and stuff. They don't need it right now. I'm going through like a phase where my skin's drying out and it's because of the weather because when it changes weather, it goes back and forth and it's been windy, it's chapping my face. So yeah, so I need to actually moisturize, but I will try this as soon as I can. The next thing I got is from Perlise. This is the first thing I've gotten from Perlise. It is the coconut oil and coffee sugar body scrub smooths, exfoliates, nourishes, and deeply moisturizes all skin types. It's a pretty small bottle. It's like a one ounce maybe. No, 0.7 ounce. Ooh, that really does smell like straight up coffee. You know what? I might see if my mom actually wants this because she loves coffee. I like the smell of coffee, but I don't drink coffee because I don't like to taste it all. But she might actually enjoy that. I don't know. I'll ask and see if she wants it. Next thing I got is from Ofra. I love Ofra products. Love their highlighters. I love their banana powder. powder. The first Ofra product I think I got was a banana powder. And then I ended up buying like the full size. Uh, which I still haven't used. But anyway. Um, I moved on to like Laura Mercier <laughs> cover FX and stuff. But it was a really good powder to me. And then the second thing I got was a blush, and I've got a couple eyeshadows that were all really nice. So, I think they're pretty much vegan. They might not, like, call themselves vegan, but they pretty much are. I don't think they use Carmine. I think that's a whole other certification you have to get. But this is a really pretty color called Chameleon. Blush Chameleon. It, it looks to be matte. The last one I got was, like, a shimmery rose gold. So, yeah. Oh, a little chubby. A little or swap too hard so it's really pretty now it looks like some of my blush is kind of worn off so let me see if i can find a brush hi cc my cat's in here hi baby you want to nail mama you want to nail mama so we're just gonna take dab oh okay soft brush work it in hopefully that's pretty very good. Uh, this go in the summer because it's actually like not a bright peach. It's like kind of a muted rosy peach kind of thing going on. And a little goes a long way. Because <laughs> I barely dab. So yeah. I like it a lot. That thing is like, I can keep them in this and like actually use them in the morning. But if I put it in a Z palette, it will never get used again. <laughs> anyway, next thing I got is actually in my bag. It's like, what did I forget? And it is from Firma Beauty. And it is an angled shadow brush. Oh, that's firm. Most of mine are really like kind of soft and fluffy, but this one's firm. Like really 
like it's soft but it's it's firm it's got some denseness to it let's try a little nose contour see what happens you know because that's what i use these on my eyes a lot but you know my eyes are done today if you're wondering what's on my eyes it is um besides the ulta liner on the bottom it is a combination of Lorac Mountain Sunset, like in their crease in the outer V, but on my lid is actually the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions, and it's the red shade. So we're just gonna like. I think, like, if you want really precise, like a V, like these are really good brushes when you're very hooded eyed, like I am and small eye because the Wayne Goss's technique shows you to go like this and out to really open your eye which I didn't really do I I have blended up but I didn't really do that technique but as a beginner what you do is like that like really blend it up or you know to sharpen and I think this would be great for like a really sharp one and then you just have to get a blender and blend out the edges a little bit or even just keep them like that I think that'd be like great I'm just gonna blend that out so Hopefully that doesn't look ridiculous. I'm cool with that. I'm always cool with another brush. And I don't think I have one in here, so I'm going to leave that. The last thing I got is from Smashbox. I actually got a high-end brand. Besides Ofer. Ofer is kind of... Ofer is pretty much high-end. I mean, they're not cheap. Um, always on liquid lipstick and Misconduct. And I don't believe I have this. And it looks like they've changed their packaging. Or is that just me? So I'm going to go ahead and throw this on. This is a very... Maybe it almost looks like it has a berry undertone for a red. Yeah, it's like a berry. It's like a wine. It might show up more red in different lighting. Like in the package, it looks red. Yeah. Yeah. It got down really quickly. And you have to be very careful you don't mess up too much. Like So it's very vampy. It does go with my eye look today. <laughs> so yeah, all in all, I think I got a pretty daggum good Ipsy bag. The Ipsy offer I got. It was from Ofra. And I tweeted this. I went on Instagram and posted it. I, I directly tagged people who I knew were interested in trying more Ofra. Because Ofra has an amazing lip formula that does not dry out your lip. It's pretty much smudge proof. It's hard to smudge. It, but it won't last through like eating a big oatmeal. I'm like seriously. It'll last through drinking. I mean like some of it might come off. But that, you're not left with a butthole ring or nothing like that. Because I... I drank them from a big O can, like, because I'll get those 99 cent big O teas. Um, they're like Razzleberry and Snowberry, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I'll drink those when we're in the Napa Valley shade we got in Boxy Charm Forever Go. I love that color in the wintertime, you know. <laughs> and a lot of be on the can, but my lips look fine and perfect. So. <laughs> sell for $15 and these retail for like $18 each of course like on their website you can use anybody's code that has one that's like 30% off so it takes it down to um I don't know what like 14 so <clears throat> this is the long lasting lipstick trio set in espresso and yeah and I don't have any of these colors like, I have a metallic pink one, and then a Santini, or no, Santa Ana color. I think this is the one I got from BoxyCharm again. And I got Napa Valley, and I got Ipsy Unzipped, and I ordered the pink metallic one by myself. But anyway, this color is Mocha. It's like a really nice pinky nude. This color is Amsterdam, and it's like a perfect, like, mauve purple. This one's Milan, which is a very pretty, like, you know, vampy red, blood red. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch, um mocha you know normally you title mocha with a brown but this one's you know i guess it has a brown undertone but it's very strongly pinky nude so i guess they just smell like that oh and these should smell oh yeah they smell like like not quite vanilla like a vanilla cookie like a a sugar cookie that's what these smell like 
Um, this color is Amsterdam. And that's what that one looks like. And this color is Milan. And poor Amy didn't get this set because something happened with her changing her payment because I don't think she gets Ipsy. I don't know what happened. Um, I said, if something happens, if I notice these and you can't complete your purchase, hit me up because these sold out like within a few hours. Literally. So there's the set. Look how gorgeous they are. And they're all wearable. I'm like, these two especially are wearable for anybody. That's if you really want to like go on a date night or whatever. So I'm so happy to have these. Like, have more at a discount. That's a great price. Let me tell you what. So anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Toodles.